The goals of our lab are to understand how HIV causes damage in the brain, in the sensory pathways, in the peripheral nervous system, and in the heart, so that we can develop new ways to prevent damage in HIV-infected people. And so what we can do is actually um, measure animals' heart function, and then we can infect them with the virus, with SAV, which is a close cousin of HIV, and then we can do um, echocardiographic exams to check heart function every couple months after inoculating the animals with the virus to track decline in cardiac performance. We like to look at all different parts of the peripheral nervous system that would convey pain or sensation from um, the skin on into your brain to the central nervous system. And one of the best ways to do that is actually to take very, very small pieces of skin or skin biopsies and to measure the small unmyelinated nerve fibers that actually are in the most superficial part of your skin. And so if you look at the density of those nerves, you can use that as a way to assess and actually to measure the damage to the peripheral nervous system that can be caused by HIV. And so by studying how it causes the damage, we hope to uncover the mechanisms and thereby learn new ways to treat and prevent this painful condition in people who are infected with HIV.